what, 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 what up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game action, folks. Welcome to Infested Fortress. This is a base building. Well, it's a base building. I'm trying to think. It's a base building turn-based strategy RPG in which you control a band of heroes who are trying to establish a forward position at an abandoned old fortress. It's got base building mechanics similar to Dungeon Keeper where you have to dig out walls to collect resources and expand the base by digging into the mountain. Looks really cool, it's the kind of game that I'm really into and it came out in early access on Steam a couple of days ago. So I thought we should download it and check it out. Super stoked to be bringing this to you guys. So before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the new viewers and subscribers of the channel. Slowly but steadily, our legion grows in strength, men and women. <laughs> I do hugely appreciate it, guys. Thank you for all the love and support that you're showing me. It really means the world to me seeing my channel grow as much as it has. In response to finally hitting a thousand subscribers, I have gone ahead and set up a Discord channel. The server is down in the description below. The link to that server is down below, so feel free to check it out. Come jump in, say hi, and we can get to know each other a bit more. And so with that said, I don't have any further announcements. I think we should just dive into a new episode of, or a new game, I should say, of Infested Fortress. Difficulty easy or normal? Suitable for players who are new to Infested Fortress, raiders and monsters come less often and are less numerous and of lower level. The player has more time to get familiar with the game, or normal. Suitable for players who are already familiar with Infested Fortress, raiders and monsters come regularly. The player must see that his heroes are well trained and equipped in order not to lose out in battle. I think we'll just start on easy difficulty because it's the first time I'm playing it. Once we've learned the mechanics and the basics, we'll maybe start again. Because I'm sure we're going to make plenty enough mistakes to have to start again anyway. And we'll start it on normal once I know what I'm doing. Dungeon name. I'm going to call it Caesar's Sex Pit. Let's go. Okay, it's a good idea to keep balance in the composition of your team. A melee fighter and a healer can make the beginning easier. A good distribution of traits is also useful. Reroll the dice until the composition suits you. We've got a frost mage, a healer, and a tank. Well, that sounds pretty good already. That sounds like a good combination. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Dwarven champion tank. Traits, gifted cook, so he can do cooking. Skilled crafter, so he can do crafting. But he's lazy, so he trains at half speed. That's fine. The champion is a heavily armoured dwarven warrior who defies enemies with his warhammer and shields. Human healer. Fast runner, plus one running. Skilled crafter, plus one crafting. Oh, we've got two crafters. Oh, we've got three crafters. That sucks. Cannot dig. Cannot refine because he's heat sensitive. We've got three skill crafters. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I think we're going to keep it for the moment. Because we've got a mage, a healer, and a tank. I don't want to re roll. I could re roll the mage, actually. Yeah, let's re roll the mage and see what we get. Human ranger, archer, cooking and crafting, and cannot refine. A priest, a healer, or a mage. Plus one building, plus one green touch farming, lazy, trains at half speed. That's fine. So you've got plus one building, plus one farming, and he trains at half speed. That's cool. I'm happy with that. And he can be a healer or a mage, so we'll get rid of the healer as well. We'll reroll the healer. Whoa! Hello, lady. You need to put some clothes on, love. It's fucking freezing outside. So you've got an assassin. You've got a rogue. Skill crafter plus one crafting, green touch plus one farming. No, we've already got those skills, so we're going to re-roll her. Human healer, no. Rogue, slayer. Gifted cook plus one cooking. We've already got that. We've already got green farming, so no. Human healer. Mm. We've got a gnome fire mage. Here we go. This looks better. Oh, we've got green touch, so plus one digging, plus one farming. Cannot cook. 
Uh, let's try again. We've got Builder, we've got Fast Runner, we've got a tank already. Yeah, we need to re-roll him. Okay, this time we've got a Rogue, we've got one Farming and one Crafting. Cannot dig. Refining and cooking. Oh, he's a healer. Never mind. One farming and one cooking. Let's just go for this. We'll have a, a party of dwarves to start with. So you've got a dwarven priest, a dwarven slayer, and a dwarven champion. He can cook and refine, but he cannot craft. He can cook and craft, but he's lazy, so he trains at half speed. This'll do. Can we change their names? Jordan! I don't like the name Mim. What's that's randomized, isn't it? So this is type it in yourself. Yeah, we're gonna call him Tank. Tank and Spank. He's gonna be called Tank and Spank the Rogue. He's got two axes and he's shirtless. Shirtless Tom. And Durin will leave Durin as Durin because that's a fine dwarf name. Okay, so we're ready. We're going for three dwarfs. I hope you don't get racial... Um, what's it called? Racial enemies that do better against dwarfs or whatever. That would suck. Okay, the Slayer fights with two axes at once. He does without heavy armor. For him, attack is the best defense. Okay, so yeah, he's an attacking offensive... The Dwarf Priest summons divine powers to the earth that either heal companions or expose enemies to divine wrath. Cool. Let's start the game. We're on our way north to an ancient dwarven fortress. Once a magnificent underground bastion, it has now been abandoned and almost completely destroyed by foul creatures of the underworld. Rumour has it that a vicious dragon has taken up residence near it and is terrorising the neighbouring lands of something... The goal of our party is of three is to establish a beachhead in the ancient fortress. I couldn't read that, it was going too quickly. But you get the gist, we're three heroes, we're trying to set up a beachhead. All of the evil in this land comes from a single source, the ancient dragon. We must find a way to defeat it. Okay, so I guess that's the final boss, the ancient dragon. Once we find a way to defeat Welcome it. Welcome to your outpost here in the north, Lord Commander. I hope you had a safe trip. Times are indeed rough, and your leadership is more than appreciated. Oh, not bad. I quite like it in here. It's uh, reminding me of home. <laughs> Our new home. The old dwarf fortress is abandoned. Whoever once lived here is dead. We brought some supplies, but they won't last forever. We have to rebuild the infrastructure if we want to survive. Our presence will not go unnoticed for long. We have to expect raiders and assaults, and who knows what else we will discover. Move the camera. Use W, A, S, and D, and move the camera Q and E to rotate. Yeah, I've already done that. Mouse button. How far can we zoom in? Whoa, we can zoom in right to ground level. That's so cool. I love that. I love games where you can zoom in close and see the details on the characters and on the ground and stuff. That really impresses me. I'm very pleased already with with something like that digging your current resources are displayed in the upper right corner by digging we can create space and collect resources that we will need for survival select the pickaxe at the bottom left and mark a cell to start digging okay so these are our resources we got soil soil is mainly used for farming coal coal is needed for refinement and cooking stone Stone is common building material. Wood, common building material. Bread, common food source with nutritional value of three. Soup, soup is a simple meal with nutritional value of one. And water, water is the source of all life and also is used in particular for agriculture. Hey, there are rats around. Everyone knows the dwarves love eating rats. Bit of rat with ketchup goes a long way to keeping a dwarf satisfied. So, I wonder if we can hunt the rats. Right, day one. Does the time go as we... Doesn't seem to pass at all. Mark a cell for digging. 
Wood, iron ore, coal. Let's go for wood first. Wood. Wood is a common building material. Hardness, 12. Okay. Build a cornfield. We have now created some space to plant a cornfield. With enough soil, we can thus create the basic supply. Select the shovel and then the cornfield from the farming menu. Please note that you cannot build in this entrance. Okay. Food. We have to eat to survive. Until our production is up and running, we can live off the supplies. Every inhabitant must receive enough rations or they will starve, making him lose health. Work speed and action points. Okay. How much each person needs to eat depends on their skills. The more skills, the greater the hunger. Okay, so as they level up, they obviously have to eat more. Right, it says build a cornfield on the empty space. How do we do that? Um, select cell for excavation. Construct a building in an empty cell. Okay, people, farming, food processing, storage, training, workshops, and ground. I guess it'll be ground? No. Farming. Oh, here we go, cornfield. Cornfield. Thanks to the light-giving obelisk, corn can be grown underground here. Corn grows slowly, can be cooked into a nutritious soup, but also serves as animal feed. The plant filters can be made into garments. The plant fibers, sorry, can be made into garments. Cool. That's interesting. Soil and water gives you 24 corn and 16 fiber. Priority is 5, whatever that means. I guess you can change the priority of it so it goes so they look after it more. Causes a bad smell in adjacent rooms. Can be obtained by digging. Oh bloody hell, time does advance. Okay, so let's build that there. Sleeping. Our residents need to sleep regularly. The more they work, the sooner they get tired. Sleeping on the hard floor is bad for the back and also for morale. Build enough beds so that no one has to sleep on the floor. Where do we do that, people? Bedroom. Simple bedroom. A simple place you sleep. Sleeping here improves character morale by one. Needs silence and no bad smell. Okay, so how do we cancel it? Okay, we cancel it with that. Where should we have the bedroom then? Down here. Gold ore. Let's dig out the gold ore. Fuck yeah. Uh, dig gold ore. Right, when they wake up, because they're all asleep here at the moment, they should build this and dig this. Dwarven champion, slayer. Oh, that's their fatigue. Okay, so the top bar is health. Second bar down is energy. Fatigue is the middle bar. Then they've got hunger and morale. Okay. So we're going to build a bedroom here. What are they doing? They're eating? Yeah, they're eating. Cool. Hi ho, hi ho, into the. Oh, cool, there's even. Oh, what happened there? Joan is now a faster runner. There was a, there was a men at work sign. Shirtless Tom is now a faster runner. There was a workman sign there, men at work sign, which is really cool. I like that, but it just I moved the mouse and it fucked up. Okay, what's this? Skills. Tank the Spank is now a faster runner. Your characters have an... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There's too much to read. Ah! Out of soil. You have no soil left. Soil is essential for your agriculture to stay up and running. Mark soil cells for digging to stack up on that resource. Dig a cell of soil. Okay. Cooking. You'll need a soup kitchen to make some make the corn into an easily digestible soup. Build a soup kitchen from the food processing menu now. Skills. Your characters have enough experience to learn a new skill. Click on their portrait and learn a desired skill from the skills tab. Sleeping on the cold floor. One of your residents had to sleep on the cold floor. That's bad for the back and also for morale. Make sure you have enough beds for everyone. You have done that. Yeah. 
Simple bedroom. A simple place to sleep. Sleeping here improves character morale by one, not reserved to anyone. Oh, okay. So the bedroom only gives you one space. Upgrade. Upgrade to a queen's bedroom. Comfortable bedroom for demanding residents. Sleeping here improves morale by two. Uh, okay, so you need planks and stone to do that. So let's assign this to, I don't know, him first. Cool, so you only get one bedroom. One one place to sleep per bedroom. That makes sense, I suppose. We've got no more soil. So what do we need to do? We need to dig out soil, it said. And what's this? Stone, coal, soil down here. Coal, wood. Oh my god, the soil's... The soil is all mi miles away. It's all wood. Okay, well, let's expand down here. Dig there, dig there, and dig there. And that'll give us some soil there and there. And some soil there. That'll give us lots of soil. We'll put another bedroom here. Raiders, we have company. This time it's not animals looking for food, but raiders who have gained entry. They're not necessarily out to kill, but they'll use our infrastructure to warm up and look for things of value. If we do not want those numerous resources, then we must face them in battle. Oh, if we do not want to lose numerous. Okay. So how do we face them in battle and where are they? There they are. Oi, what the fuck do you think you're doing on my land? Get off my property. How do we attack them? It hasn't said. Oh, here we go. Fight. Time to leave. Let's get into fight. Okay, this is interesting. So they all line up. And then just go straight into combat. Action. During a battle, each of your characters has a number of action points available in his turn. Shown in the orange bubble. He can perform actions until his action points are used up. Most skills require other resources besides action points, such as energy blue or adrenaline yellow. Okay. Okay, so this is the priest. Staff blow. Hit an enemy with your staff. Action points two. How many action points does he have? Five. Okay, something's carried over to the next round. I guess unused action points are carried over to the next round. Holy Missile. Hurl a Holy Missile at the enemy. Parry. Parry hits from the front with your staff in the next one turn, avoiding up to 25 damage. And potions. Allows consumption of magical potions your team may have brought to the battlefield. Okay, so his armor is zero. His movement points determines how far your character can run during the turn. And Apprentice Staff is the damage. Let's just hurl a holy missile. Target selection. To select a target, click either on the tile it is on or its portrait. Confirm the target with another click. Alright, let's click on that guy. Because he's flanking? Question mark? How's he flanking? He's just there facing this guy. Holy missile damage 35. Click target again to confirm. Go! Splat! Whoa, look at that. It just goes all the way over there. Cool. Uh... He's still got three action points, so let's move to let's move up to here. That should be his. Oh no, I see. He can move and do stuff. Okay, so action points, not action points. Movement points don't take action points. You can move, and then you still have this number of action points left. Is there any way of checking? Okay, Goblin Warrior, level one. Stats and skills. The Goblin Warrior is a cautious fighter who balances. Attack and defense. However, if the opponent is wounded, he will take him down with half of blows. If the opponent is wounded, then he will take him down with a half of blows, whatever that means. Okay, and the Goblin Assassin. Goblin Assassin is armed only with daggers, but he knows how to use them skillfully. He can inflict considerable damage on unprotected units with quick attacks. Does it show his health anywhere? It doesn't seem to show his health. Okay, well we've got two, act three action points left. Let's let's staff blow this guy. Blow him with your staff. Blamo. Good work. Okay, next character. 
The assassin has what? Melee. Hit the enemy with your axe. Armor penetration, 25%. Parry. Parry hits from the front with your weapon in the next turn, avoiding up to 30 damage. And then potions. All you can do is attack, so do it. And you can't do anything else. Okay, apparently there's no attacks of opportunity. I wonder if there's flanking and stuff. Block. Use your shield to block blows from the front the next two turns, avoiding up to 40 damage. Hit the opponent with your hammer. Let's see if you can finish him. No, you can't. Nothing else. What are the potions? Okay, the potions are appearing off screen at the moment. That's a bit of an issue. I'll see if I can... No. Let's um, bring the menu up. Settings. Display. Full screen, resolution, what's exposure? That's like gamma exposure, right? Yeah, so unfortunately at the moment a couple of the things are appearing off screen, which is a bit of an issue, but it is an early access, so hopefully they'll fix that. Okay, so we don't want this. Now we have to end the turn because no one has any more AP. Let's see what they do. Yep, they attack the priest, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Right, he's facing away from you now. Can you... You are tied up in melee. Okay. I want to try something. I want to see if they got attacks of opportunity. So I'm going to move with this guy. You'll be hit if you disengage. Okay, here we go. Oh. Let's do the AOO first. When a character is engaged in melee combat, he cannot easily retreat. If he leaves the melee, then an... Any enemies currently facing his direction can make an opportunity attack. Cripple enemies or offer them another target and then move their, move to their back to leave the melee area without getting attacked. Okay. Tanking with another character. One of your heroes is tied up in melee. You cannot simply leave melee without getting hit by an attack of opportunity. Yeah, we just read that. However, you can put a tankier character in front of your foe. Then move your more vulnerable hero to the back or sides of the enemy, and then and they are f and then they are free to disengage. Okay, what are, what's this? Can we get rid of these yet? No, because we're still building those. Okay, conditions conditions are negative effects that last a number of turns. They can be removed by certain skills. Some cause damage over time. Others affect your combat abilities. Examine the icons next to the portrait to find out more. Okay. And defenses. Defenses repel damage up to the defense value inflicted from the front. They are ineffective against attacks from the flank or behind. Alright. Good to know. So what's this? Bleeding. Lose 25 hit points every turn and it's stackable. Alright. Okay, so how do you... If I attack this guy... Will he turn around and face me? No. Lock. Put him in front of him. I don't understand how you... You'll be hit if you disengage. Hmm... I don't get how you get them to tie up with someone else. How you get them to engage someone else and then move away freely. I'm not really sure about that yet. Let's just see what happens. Okay, he can't do anything at all now. Uh, do parry because you're probably going to get hit again. This guy can just attack him. Oh my god, they're hacking up the priests. Okay, the priest is almost dead already. I've almost lost the game already. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought this guy was tied up in combat. I need some, How do you cancel? Okay. Okay. So if you come here, does that mean you'll be flanking? Let's try... 
clicking on him. It says flanking, but I'm not sure that's the case. That's behind him. Damage 26. He's still doing the same amount of damage. You'll be hit if you disengage. So if we hit him, is he now engaged? It doesn't. It doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me if he's engaged or not. So I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, we're gonna lose already. Once a brave warrior. Yeah, he died. Now lying dead. They may be able to take us down, but they're going to have to bleed before that happens. Enemy movement. Opponents bound in melee can. How I thought he was bound. Oh god, I don't understand this at all. Opponents bound in melee cannot disengage without being countered, but they can move around their melee opponent and stay within their melee range to reach other characters behind them. Make sure soft characters are not within that range to keep them safe. Okay, so if I. This guy's not engaged. This guy's engaging him. He's engaging him. So I could move this guy here, and then here, and then here. I'm just testing stuff at the moment, chat, to work out how this works. Because at the moment I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, so because I wasn't facing him, he was Another able to move there. Soul who gave his life Jeez, this game is hard. He shall be Either that, I'm just doing something flavor. severely wrong. <laughs> Tank's getting his butt kicked, chat. We're, we're all going to die in the first fight. Character is currently disabled, so he's knocked down and cannot get this turn, okay. Yep, we're about to lose. We didn't even kill one of them and they just hacked us to pieces. We lost this one, but all bad fortune shall be conquered by our endurance. Defeat. Gained experience per character zero. Okay. Uh, why has it done that? Okay. Day three, loads. There are dark creatures on this earth, but the lights of the storm guard remain ever brighter. Okay, it's allowing me to load the game where I was defeated for some reason. I'm not sure why it's doing that, because that's utterly pointless. So we're going to quit, obviously, and start a new game. Quit to menu. No, why is it... Okay. It's a load game. We've only got that... Might as well delete it. New game. Can we carry on on, the, on uh, easy? It's obviously quite a hard game. So let's continue. Right, let's see what we got. We've got a rogue, a mage, and a mage. We don't want that. I don't think we want a rogue. We don't want anyone who's... His hero's really squishy. If they turn around and attack him, they'll just squish him. So I think we want a mage, a fire mage. He cannot build, but he can craft and cook. That's fine. We don't want a witch. Human knight can be the tank. He can dig and build. He cannot refine. That's fine. And we want a healer. Oh, a healer. Can craft and dig. Mm, no. We need a healer. Healer. Fast runner and skilled crafter. That's fine. So we've got a crafter, a builder, and a digger. A cooker and a crafter. I'm not going to bother renaming them because I, I get the feeling we're going to have to restart quite a lot. So I just want to get into the main meat and potatoes of this game chat. Okay, I'm going to read this now because I didn't read it last time and it got halfway. Almost completely destroyed by foul creatures of the underworld. Dragon's taken up residence and is terrorizing the neighboring lands from there. Okay. 
More troops will then follow and help rid the area of its infestation. I see. Can we escape this? We can, starting game. Welcome cool. to your outpost here in the north, Lord Commander. I hope you had a safe trip. Times are indeed rough, and your leadership is more than appreciated. Yeah, we understand that. Digging. Right, so is it different every time? It looks like, oh, yeah, magma. If we dig into magma, are we going to die? It looks different every time. Let's dig into the soil over here because we're going to need soil for farming. Uh, and then build farming cornfield. Build the cornfield. Let's dig into the magma and see if it kills us since we're testing stuff early on. Cooking, you'll need a soup kitchen. Yes, I know that. Let's build a soup kitchen here. No, it just gives you resources. Mm, people, bedroom, build a bedroom there. Dig there and there as well when you can. Okay, so we've got one bedroom up and running. We're going to assign that to you. Right, now we're going to build the food processing soup kitchen. We'll build a soup kitchen there. Build a bedroom here. Not enough resources. What do we need? We're missing five wood. We need lots of wood. Okay. This is wood and this is wood, so we're going to dig that up. That should give us enough wood for each of those. Build a well. No living thing can exist without water, and we need it for our agriculture as well. Build a well to ensure water supply. Well, we also need to make sure we don't sleep on the ground, so let's build the bedrooms here, and another bedroom here. And what was farming? Was that, well, what was the well in? Well under farming, yeah. Water is essential for the surviving. We need five wood again. Is there any wood here? Yeah, there's wood there. Dig that. Assign that to you. Assign that to you. There we go. We've all got beds. Just need to dig up some ingredients. Corn and coal gives you soup. Corn and mushroom and coal gives you fine soup. Uh, let's build the well next. Can you actually save in this game? I'm not sure you can. I think it saves as you go. No, you can save. Let's just save it now that we've got that all established, just in case we get invaded again. And we get our butts kicked by a pair of goblins once more. Food. We have the eat to survive until our production is up. And yeah, I've already understood that. Okay, the well... Water is essential for the survival, especially for agriculture. Plus five water, and then it has a cooldown. Okay. And they're all sleeping soundly. Good. Okay, what do we need to build next? Let's have a look at what you can build. People, dining room. The dining room, residents can enjoy their food while sitting down. This boosts morale in the squad. Bar. In the bar, the inhabitants can come together to have a drink. This raises morale in the uh, raises morale in the group. Different races prefer different drinks. Humans enjoy good wine. Dwarves and gnomes have beer, while elves enjoy soothing tea. Okay. To learn a new skill, click on their portrait. Learn a desired skill from the skills tab. Skills. Is there any way of pausing it? There is a way of pausing it. Okay. Cool. This is a lot of information to try and take in, and it's a t it's a time based game. So, fire mage gnome, new skills available. New skills available. Skill points one. Flare, basic ranged attack. Conjure up a powerful flare and hurl at an enemy, plus twenty five percent damage. 
explosion creates an explosion on the target character that inflicts 75 fire damage. Surrounding enemies take 60, take a bunch of fire damage. Whoa, there are a lot of spells here. He's already got a spell, which is Fireball. Takes action points, plus one level, it gives you an extra 20% damage. Or do we want to learn another skill? Well, this, this skill doesn't require energy, so we're going to level that up. You're trying to level up an existing skill. On your first skill point, it may make more sense to learn a new skill to increase your options. Repeat your action to confirm a choice to learn a new skill. Okay, it's actually advising me to learn a new skill. I see what it's saying, because this will be on cooldown, right? It's only got a cooldown of one, so you can use it every turn. So we probably want to do that, because it's energy free as well. These will cost energy, and he's only got 15 energy. So if we do that seven times, he's out. If he does this twice, three times, he's out of energy. Oh, this looks quite useful. Drain energy. Drain five energy from target foe. It has a cooldown of three. Costs one, but it, so you get a net of four energy. I think we're going to go with the fireball because it's only got a cooldown of one, so you can use it every single turn. But it doesn't cost any energy. So An I am experienced, gonna... skilled hero is worth ten rookies on the battlefield. You don't say. Okay, the human knight. Knees cost energy. Sever artery. What's this? Adrenaline. Takes two adrenaline. How do you get adrenaline? The adrenaline bar is empty at the beginning of the fight. Each successful attack increases the available energy adrenaline, which then unlocks powerful abilities. Okay, do we have any passive abilities? I love myself some passive abilities. No, we don't. Gash. If the opponent is bleeding, causes a deep wound for two turns. Okay, cool. Strike. Basic melee attack. Strike the enemy with a furious blow plus 20% damage. Gain one additional strike of adrenaline. Okay, so that builds up your adrenaline. Um, I'd say, again, we just go for this. Just increase the damage he's doing at the start. Yeah, let's just increase An the amount of damage. Skilled hero is worth ten rookies on the battlefield. Uh, and then the human healer. Heal, heal the target ally for seventy-five hit points. That seems like the most useful. Healing breeze, on the other hand. That regenerates 33 hit points for three turns, so you get 99 hit points back. It's only three energy, and it only takes one action point, and there's zero cooldown on it. That seems like a better healing spell. Okay, we're gonna get the heal we're gonna get the healing breeze. Training. Our little camp has already grown a bit. Unfortunately, this attracts more and more dangerous creatures who want to drive us away from here. We need to improve our fighting skills on suitable training grounds in order to be able to defend our territory. Build a training facility from the training build menu. Well, we've got beds, we've got food and water coming. So yeah, let's build the training next. Uh, training. Training ground. Here, melee characters can train and improve their skills. Causes noise to adjacent rooms. Iron or five, wood five and stone 15. So we need 15 stone and five wood to be able to build that. Let's get to digging. That's the five wood. That's one stone, two stone, three stone. That's 15 stone, and we've got the rest of it. 
So spacebar is in fact pause and sp pause and play. Home takes us back to the front room. Good, just learning everything, chat, making sure I understand how it works, how it all fits together. Dig, you lazy bastards, dig! Okay, that's the stone done. It creates noise in adjacent rooms, so I'm guessing that this can't have... Needs silence and no bad smell, yeah, exactly. So we can't have the training room next to here, for example. Let's build it here then. Yeah, so you see here it's got the uh, men at work sign, which is quite cool. I'm loving the details of this game already. And I like the fact that it looks like it's quite a hard game. What's he doing? Does that mean he's idle? Does, or is that just his hat? How can you tell if they're idle? Where is he? Ah, oh, he's there staring at the wall. You useless fuckhead. Uh, come and get some more wood. We're going to need lots of wood, obviously. So there we go, yeah. That shows when they're doing stuff. Okay, so if they've got a picture in the top left, an icon in the top left indicates that they're doing something. Oh, he's training. Okay, cool. Oh, that means they're idle. Okay, if they've got it like a... Um, If they've got a clock symbol, I think, that means they're idle. So here, here, here melee character can train and improve their skills. Causes noise in adjacent rooms. He's at 85% before leveling up, I guess. 90 and then 100 means he levels up, right? So he should be another level now. No. So he doesn't automatically go up a level. He just got 20 experience points, I think. Yeah, he did, yeah. Okay, so it takes, there's a time limit on how long it, they train for, and that doesn't automatically level them up. It just gives them experience. So we're going to let them do that, and then we're going to dig out more stone there, more soil, more wood, because we need all of it. Wood there. Can we dig that as well? Hello. Thank you, wood. Wood there. Crafting. Our equipment is not the very best. It is difficult to transport the necessary weapons and armor over the long distance to the mountains. Therefore, we need to provide uh, better equipment on site. Build workshops and assign crafting tasks to turn your materials into better equipment. Build a workshop. Uh, I think we'll have the workshop down. No, this is like the bed area, so we can't have the workshop there. We can have the workshop here. Let's build a workshop. What am I looking for? Workshops. Here we go. Crafting, tannery, carpenter, blacksmith. Okay, we obviously have to read and understand what each of these things do, so let's do it. Jeweler. Here you can make magical jewelry such as rings or amulets. Potion lab. Here you can create magical potions that can save your life in a tricky situation in battle. To make potions, you need certain ingredients and rabbit dung. See the corresponding craft recipes. Causes bad smell. The blast furnace can be used to produce refined materials from raw ores. Here we can process various metals obtained during excavation, excavation work or refinement into heavy armor. Causes noise to rooms up to two tiles away. Need stone and iron ore for that. Carpenter. Here wooden objects are made such as bows, wooden shields or sticks. Don't know why you'd want that. Why do you want sticks or wooden shields? Surely you need metal shields that the blacksmith can make. 
Tannery here. Leather armor can be made, giving better protection to lightly armored units. Tailoring here. You can make clothes that, on the one hand, provide some protection, but above all, impress with magical enchantments. Okay. Um, so it sounds like things we want a blacksmith. We need ten. We need stone and iron ore for that. So wood, iron ore, stone there. So we'll get the soil and the stone. We've got plenty to do. How do you stop them from training? I don't want him training at the moment. I want him expanding and digging. Disable building. Building will no longer be used. There we go. So he can help with all of this. We need to. Ex we can't have one person training their skills and the other two laboring all over the place by themselves. We need to build and expand and get better armor and stuff. Last time we got invaded super quickly. It was like day two. It was like now basically we got invaded and I wasn't ready for anything. Now we seem to be doing much better. So the top one is soil. We've got zero of that. We need more soil so in order to be able to plant more of these. Do we have a water? Yeah, bottom's water. So they automatically cook, I think. Yeah. He just put some soup on. Oh, crafting. Hang on. Out of soil. You have no soil left. Soil is essential for your agriculture to stay up and running. Mark soil cells for digging up stock up on that resource. So do you just like keep going? In the game because what happens if yeah i guess you must bloody hell i guess the dungeons get pretty are pretty big because you have to keep digging out soil in order to be able to produce food hmm okay crafting our equipment is not the very yeah but it build a workshop yeah okay so i've read that there's the soil i guess for the soil thing wood Let's uh, sort out our food stuff first. Let's mark self a digging. Soil. Yeah, mark self a digging. Soil, soil. We need more wood. So let's do the wood. Stone, stone. Wood, soil, soil, soil. Let them dig that first. They're going to have. Their hands full with that lot. Oh, they're going to bed. So yeah, it takes one soil and one water to plant seeds. Out of soil again. Yeah. I think that's going to be happening quite a lot. We already need a fuck ton lot of characters. Fra is now more proficient at farming. Good for Fra. Okay, so they arrive on day three. We have company. This time it's not animals looking for... Yeah, same thing. Okay, so if we fight, does this? Does he wake up from being asleep? Let's press fight. Yeah, he does wake up. And it seems to set up the battle automatically. Yeah. So this guy is engaged with the tank. He, if he moves, I'll get an attack of opportunity on him. So this is the fireball. We're going to hurl it at this guy. Let's have a look at him. That's his skills. A kobold. The kobold is not 
very tall and therefore has a rather unimpressive appearance, but he is a masterful axe fighter. Opponents who are careless enough to turn their backs on him will regret it. Oh, there are his hit points. 208 out of 250. 83%. IBC Cream Soda says, what game is this? This is Infested Fortress. It's a base building, turn-based strategy RPG game. Kind of similar to Dungeon Keeper, where you have to dig out squares of your base to get resources build rooms in the space that you've dug out and level up and advance heroes as they do they battle fantasy monsters buenos dias welcome to the stream thank you for joining mate i hope you're having a lovely sunday good to see you again um so yeah we just worked out the health i'm not going to get him close because that's just silly he's probably going to come over and attack me anyway so i'm probably going to run away Run away. Keep my distance. Does this have a range on it? It doesn't by the looks of things. Okay, this character. Holy Missile. You can place Holy Missile on this fucker. I wonder if it hits everything in a straight line. It doesn't say that on um, on the description. Uh, he's going to run up to here, so he's out of range of this guy. Can he heal? Target the ally regenerates 33 hit points for three turns. He doesn't need it yet. Use your sword to parry hits from the front and the next avoiding 35 damage. Use your shield to block blows from the front the next two turns avoiding up to 40 damage. That says three turns on it, I think, and that says two turns. Or is that one turn? The next one turn. Well, the first thing you're going to do is hit the enemy with your sword. Then you're going to defend for two turns. Defenses repel damage up to the defense value afflicted from the front. They are ineffective against attacks from the flank or from behind. Alright, that's all we can do. Let's see what happens. They blocked 32 and they took 37 damage. Let's start with the healer. Healing Breeze. Click target again to confirm. Yeah, heal him. Enchantments. Enchantments provide magical bonuses for the duration of their effects until they either expire or are removed. Understood. You need experiment with that spell could be very powerful which spell sorry this one the holy missile yes i think i'll see if i can line up now that this guy's moved what's his movement action points five movement is six so as long as i stay six squares out of his range which i think here is safe he won't be able to come and attack me we're going to keep focusing on this guy Focus fire on him. Uh, can't do anything else. So that's his turn done. Uh, the fire mage is going to fireball this fucker. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can get to me if I move anywhere closer. So I'm going to stay where I am with this guy and then you why is this oh is that the healing it is healing breeze okay good you can what's this guy's health 96 164 you can attack this guy in turn Conditions understood. Okay, the tank is getting absolutely fucked up. What's this condition? Cracked armor. Armor is halved. Okay, how much health does he have? 63. So that's two attacks. So what we'll do is see if we can move this guy to here. Just to test if he can do the... Um, if it hits both of them. 
No, it only hits one. Okay, interesting. Good to know. How much damage does he have left? 28. So you can finish him. Yeah, finish him. Never give up. There may be tough times, but the difficulties we face in battle make us more determined than ever to eradicate all evil from the land. Damn right. Exactly what he said. He's going to block now. Block the damage. You're going to move up. Because this guy can't move without giving away an attack of opportunity. You're going to fireball him. That's everyone. Good, he dodged the attack. Okay, so you're going to fireball him. We're going to go for the killing blow. You come up and also smack him with your staff. Whack. Whack-a-doodle. Right, you can enchanting whatever him. And come up and whack-a-doodle him with your staff as well. We have met the enemy and prevailed. Nice. Reach level 2. So, casualties of those two. Gained experience per character, 30. Gained 9 iron ore. Is it still going? Yeah, the time was still advancing. Okay, cool. So that's our first combat done. Let's, uh, let's save it, since that went so well. Right, what were we doing? They're all eating now, that's fine. And they're digging these out. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, someone reached level 2, didn't they? This guy reached level 2. <sighs> Cannot be defended. That could be really useful. Yeah, that could be really useful. If we need to run away, we can cripple them and then run away. It's always good to gain new knowledge we can bring to bear on the battlefield. So yeah, if we need to, we, if we're running out of health and we're about to die and we need time for the healing, um, whatever it's called, healing breeze to work, we can hamstring them, cripple them, stop the attack of opportunity from coming in on us and then just run away like a little bitch. Which is good. Good, 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 Select the creatures on the top right and press fight to switch to battle mode. Direwolf. The direwolf is a, is larger than normal wolves and a lot more dangerous. Its bite causes nasty bleeding wounds. And a viper. Vipers attack at lightning speed. Their attacks cannot be blocked. They do not cause much damage, but the poison of the viper makes... Makes you temporarily blind. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to fight them. This guy's health hasn't gone up that much. But I don't know if it goes up naturally by itself or... Doesn't look like it does. Can we cast the healing spell on him out of combat? You... You don't have uh, any skills. Can I cast this out of combat? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. There's no way of doing that, no. All right, well, we need to fight them. Where are they? They're here. That's the dire wolf. Where's the snake? Oh, he's here somewhere. I can't see him, but he's definitely here. Hello, wolfie. Wolfie, wolf, wolf. Okay, well, we're not going up in... Oh, there he is. There's the wolf. I can't see the snake, though. Our health isn't going up at all over time, so we're just going to fight these guys before they steal any resources. Even though I'm not at full health. Yeah. 
What's this guy's movement? Okay, so even if we hamstring him, we can't run away from him, he'll be able to catch us. So we might as well stand there and block. Okay, the priest might as well heal because he's got full health, full, what's it called? Got full energy and this guy's missing health, so do that. Healing breeze him and then lightning bolt this guy or whatever it's called. Holy missile, that's what it's called. Come and hide behind the statue. This guy can move to move to here and then fireball him. And turn. Oh, there's the snake. I see it now. Oh, the snake tried to move. Okay, that's a lot of information all at once. Okay, tanking with another character. One of your heroes is tied up in melee. You cannot simply have leave melee without getting hit by an attack of opportunity. However, you can put a tankier character in front of your foe. Then move your more vulnerable hero to the back or sides of the enemy and then are free to disengage. Enemy movement. Opponents bound in melee cannot disengage without being countered. But they can move around their melee opponent and stay within their melee range to reach other characters behind them. Make sure soft characters are not within that range to keep them out of scare okay, to keep them safe. Shouts are skills that give bonuses to all allies in the area of effect. Some shouts also affect opponents. The effect of shouts cannot be removed. Right. So we've got a whole load of stuff happen there. We've got fire resistance, fire damage resisted by 25%. No immunities or resistances, and holy magic, because that's right, so that's their affinity. It's just causing that resistance. So he's got, yeah, regenerate hit points, lose 25 hit points every turn because he's bleeding, and blind. Blind characters have a 90% chance to miss their attacks. Large characters, 50% chance to miss. Bo bosses, 25% chance to miss. Shit. So this thing blinded us and now we can't hit anything. Well, we might as well try if you're going to miss. How much health does it have? It only has 150 hit points. Maybe we can just batten it down by just fucking up. You're tied up in melee. Oh, okay. Smack. Is this guy tied up in melee as well? Yeah, so I see. Because it's facing, it ties them up like that. So we don't want to put them near each other. That's lesson learned. He just fucked off to fight these guys because this guy can't hit him. So we're in trouble now already. It's good to see the AI doing intelligent things, like taking advantage of him being blind, for instance. Kill the fucking snake, but our healer's gonna die here, so we're gonna have to reload anyway. How much hit points do they have? 58. Okay, so he's dead, so now I should be able to. Why am I tied up in melee? Oh, because I was close to him. Now I can do it. Okay, cool.
Okay, now he's not tied up in melee anymore, so he can move here. Actually, I should have attacked first. Go there, attack like this. Miss, fair enough, then move away. And this, there we go. He's missed, oh, because he's blind. Oh, uh, he's only got 16 hit points, so heal yourself. Okay, end turn. I think we only just survived this combat. If the fucking tank doesn't die now. Got fucking 19 hit points left. Just kill him already. Oh, you can finish him. Okay, when they reach level two, they don't max. They don't get their full hit points back. That's interesting. We got. Oh, pause it. You got three raw meat, must be grilled before it can be consumed, or animal skins. Animal skins can be made into simple leather clothing in a tannery. Okay. I'm not sure how to get their hit points back. I guess when they sleep, they'll it'll go up naturally. Uh, let's increase this guy's fireball level. The more you learn, the more situations you'll be able to handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what he said. And then... The healer, we probably want to do his healing spell up. We probably want to learn heal just to, for emergency. Oh no, let's go, let's buff his, um, this again. That goes up to 48 for four turns. We want to keep leveling this up as much as possible. So it acts like a normal heal in one turn. Once it does 75 hit points per turn, then that's basically the same as a first heal, first level heal. But it does it every turn, which is quite good. Uh, I'm not going to save it because we took a lot of damage in that fight. It didn't go that well. Uh, now that these are all e excavated, let's think. Food processing. Soup kitchen we've got. Grill. We've got, we need a grill for all the meat. Here raw meat is grilled on the barbecue to a delicious meal. Meat is very valuable food that satisfies even the most demanding citizens. So three meat makes three meat. Okay, causes a bad smell in adjacent rooms. So we need five stone. He's about to get the five stone. Let's make a grill. Oops, grill. Um, there's the well. Can't have it here because it's near the bed. Why can't we have it there? Don't understand... Oh, because we don't have enough resources. Right, that's why. So we need to dig this stone and then we can build it. I don't want the meat to spoil. I don't know if it can spoil, actually. So the tutorial is telling us to build the um, blacksmith next. I'm going to build that next instead. I don't know if the meat can spoil or not, so we'll find out. Workshop, tannery we could do for leather. I want a blacksmith, personally. Done. That gets rid of that tutorial. Now faster digging. Groovy. I want to learn how their health goes up. I want to check. Chicken. We have found a chicken. If we build a chicken farm to feed it some corn, it will lay eggs which can be processed into valuable food. Okay, cool. So we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna build a chicken farm. No, farming. Chicken farm. Soil 5 wood 10. We've got enough for it. Chickens can be kept in the chicken farm. Chickens can, chickens eat corn grains and lay valuable eggs. However, it makes little sense to build a chicken farm before you have actually found chickens. That makes perfect sense. But we just found chickens, so I'm going to put it up here, near the farming area. So we're building a blacksmith and a chicken farm now. Yeah, I want to see how their health goes up. So I need to keep an eye on it to see when it goes up. I'm assuming when they sleep. 
which we're about to find out because they've got like 74% sleep on those two who are, who are wounded, the two wounded guys. Chickens. Blacksmith. Refine. Process raw materials into more refined materials. Spe specify how many refined materials of which type are to be produced. Poison shard. Frost shard. Fire shard. I thought we could make armor with this. The holy shard contains holy particles that can be used to create equipment with holy enchantments. Can be made in the blacksmith's shop from stone and onyx. Oh, because I'm refining. Okay. I see. So that's how you refine stuff into that. And then if you go to craft, you can make armor. Yeah, cool. Select a manufacturing building and then the desired armor or weapon type to see your crafting options. So weapons. Sharp pickaxe. A sharp pickaxe reduces digging time by 50%. Only has to be crafted once. That's worth crafting basically immediately. Kitchen knife has is a great help in preparation of food. Reduced cooking time only has to be crafted once. And a sickle. So we need iron for that. Okay. And then we can make a simple iron sword. We just need iron. Short sword is iron. And that's iron. Oh, that's iron ore, sorry. That's an iron, iron ingot. Okay. Cool. Griffin longsword. Ogre longsword. Cool. I'm already really liking this game. It's got a lot of um, iron shield, golden iron shield, battle shields. It's got a lot of cool shit in it. Manticore shield, tower shield, tower shield of action, a lot of really, really cool shit. Axes, daggers, hammers. No weapon armor slot selected, select the desired slot to the left. Oh, cool, you even got all these down here. All these helmets, all this shit you can craft. That is so cool. Well, by the looks of things, the first thing we need to do is get something that can produce ingots out of iron ore. Hang on, what's this? Chicken must be fed corn in a chicken farm to lay eggs. Well, how do I do that? How do I move the chicken to the chicken farm? Is it there already? Oh, it looks like it's going over there. It's just wandering around at the moment. Okay. Uh, processing, workshop, ground, training, people. We need a dining room, wood 10, boost morale. Okay, so I need something that can boost morale. Need silence and no bad smell. We can have the dining room down here then next to, uh, next to the bedroom. We'll build it there. The bar. Oh, what's a hospital? That's how they get health back. Okay. In the hospital, your heroes can quickly regain health and energy. Wood planks, five. And cloth. We need wood planks and cloth to do that. I don't even know how to get those. Farming, a mushroom field. Ingredients, water just be makes mushrooms. Okay. Here, mushrooms grow on the moist soil. Moist. Most are poisonous and thus inedible for humans, but many creatures can consume them without any problems. They can also be important ingredients in certain potions. Okay, so if we want a more nutritious soup, we can make a mushroom farm. I want to see how to food store. Unused food can be stored here for later use. We don't have any. We don't have any unused food. I don't think animals resources. Oh, I see. 
Uh, okay, so you click on resources, it shows you all the resources you have. Plant fibers can be made into simple clothing. And you click on animals, it shows you all the animals you have in stock. So that's chickens, and we've got one of them. That's cool. I dig that. Okay, so how do we refine? It was the furnace, wasn't it? Glass furnace can be used to produce refined materials from raw ores. Yeah, so we need 10 stone and 6 coal for that. Are we digging anything at the moment? No, we're not. So we need stone and coal. So stone there. There was coal here, wasn't there? Coal. And coal and coal. Where was the other stone? Stone and stone. Right, that's enough digging. Get to it, boys. Before the next attack. All right, that's the dining room done. We need a mushroom farm relatively quickly so then we can make better soups. Because if you add nine mushrooms, you get a fine soup. Which has a nutritional value of two, so it doubles the nutritional value. So basically that means, yeah, we don't need as much soil. We don't go through as much soil as quickly. So I'm going to build that now, actually. Mushroom field. So you've got the chicken farm. Does it produce a bad smell, this? No, it doesn't say that. Oh, f Yeah, let's build it here, because it doesn't, doesn't create a bad smell. As far as I can tell, it doesn't, at any rate. So it's, it's fine to go next to the bedroom. Okay, he's about to go to sleep, I think. No, he's about to eat. We're going to have dinner. <laughs> okay, so you can't see them because the icon's over them. That's something that they need to maybe work on, getting rid of the icon, just like hovering in the middle here. But who knows? You know, they, you can still kind of see them, which is quite cool. He's going to sleep now, so let's see if he increases his health. His health is 59 out of 231 and 149. Uh-oh. Well, is that 39 or 59? I can't tell. So their health doesn't go up during sleep. <laughs> Apparently the only way to get their health back is by healing them in a hospital. So how do we get a hospital? That's going to be important. We need wooden planks and cloth roll. How do you get wooden planks? Workshops. Carpenter, surely. Wooden objects are made such as bows, wooden shields, and sticks. Ah, oh, here we go. Ground. Wooden planks. Wooden planks isolate the area from the cold in the ground, thus making the room more pleasant. Increased movement speed, 20% faster sleeping, eating, or drinking. Oh, I see. No, the ground you is pavement. Okay. Okay, well I can't think of any other way to get wooden planks other than a carpenter. So we're going to build a carpenter for experimentation. To see, because we're missing five wood, we're about to dig that up somewhere. Where is wood? Soil, wood, there we go. No, not construct. Dig. Dig up the wood. Give me priority nine. Reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived at our gate and demand entry. We are grateful for any assistance, but capacity is limited. If our infrastructure is not sufficient to supply everyone, we can quickly drive our young outpost to ruin. Think carefully about who you accept and who will have to provide for themselves in the wilderness. Okay. How do you... Oh, so you choose. Okay. Reinforcements. We can either get supplies, a hunter, or a slayer. So choose... 
resource crate is either nine food, thirteen iron ore, and fifth and eight magma. You can get a hunter. The huntress is a master of the art of the bow and can inflict great damage from a safe distance. With plus one building, plus one digging, and they cannot farm. Or the slayer. The slayer fights with two axes at once. He does without heavy armor. He does so without heavy armor. For him to attack is the best defense. So they both got digger. I say we take the huntress. We don't need any of this. How much food do we have? We've got 15 food and we're building a mushroom farm, so that'll increase that quite a lot. Yeah, I say we go Let's for that. Let's welcome this new member. Give the new ones a chance to prove themselves. Spend your skill points. Whenever you get a new character or one of your current heroes levels up, remember to spend the available skill points. Well, the first thing I want to do is build another bedroom for them so they've got decent sleep. We need five wood. We're missing it. Okay. What level is she? She's level one. We've got strike at the enemy in melee. Shoot an arrow at the enemy plus 20% damage. Shoot an arrow inflicting bleeding for three turns. I just got three turn cooldown, but bleeding is quite useful. Poison shot. Basic range attack. Shoot an arrow inflicting poison for two turns. That's, that's 50 hit points. That double the bleeding loss. Yeah, let's go with poison. Yeah, let's go for the poison. It's always arrow. good to gain new knowledge we can bring to bear on the battlefield. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly what he just said. This game is fucking groovy. I'm absolutely loving it. Set your priorities. When you ha have too much to do, it is important to set the right priorities. Select the priorities menu and determine which character should take care of which tasks. Open the priorities panel to get character priorities. Okay. Proficiencies. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Novice to apprentice to practitioner to proficient to expert to master. Economy. Overview of yesterday's production and consumption of resources. That's really cool. Nutrition produced 18, consumed 21, balance minus 3, daily daily need is 11. So that's useful for, to know. Crafting is just the crafting and refinement is the refinement. Can, I, can we see? Yes, yeah, so the carpenter is where you do refine wood into wooden planks. Okay, and then priorities. Fighting, they're all on this, so digging. Ah, oh, cool. You say don't do. Well, at the moment, I don't want them doing anything. Well, what does he have? What's his, like, stats, morale, tasks? Morale. Plus one is happy. Inventory. Skills. Stats. How do you see what he's good at again? It, like... At the start, it told you whether he was, like, yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say here in any way. Maybe it says on the proficiencies. Mm. I see. So the plus one just means they start on that. They start on the next level. So it isn't that significant, to be honest, because they level up between novice and apprentice quite quickly. What's more important to pay attention to at is what they're inept at. That's cool. So, we need wood. We need a lot of wood. There's wood there. Wood and wood. And wood. And wood. Dig that lot up first. We're going to build a bedroom first, as soon as this wood is dug up. There we go. Yeah, we'll build a bedroom here so the beds are all next to each other. And then we need to build a workshop. We need to build a carpenter. We're still missing five wood for it. That's annoying. There we 
There we go, we've got the five wood. Let's build the carpets down here. Priority nine on that, and then priority priority nine on that. Not enough storage space. You don't have enough storage space to accommodate all of the resources you produce. So what storage space? What do you mean? Something's out. 25 out of 25 fiber. Ah, so we need more fiber. That would be material store, I suppose. Fields. Field goods like animal skins, fiber, and other crafting. Okay. Ah, oh, cool. So this shows you all the... Okay. And that shows you how much wood you need for it. So where can we build that? These are the bed. This is the bed and di dining area and stuff. We kind of want that there. I'd say we build it down here, although it doesn't take noise. So the mushrooms... Uh, training can be up there. Yeah, let's build it down here. Build it there. I want that built as quickly as possible so that we can carry on building up fibers because obviously you're going to use fiber to make cloth and you're going to need lots of cloth to heal people in the hospital. Can you choose which... No, you can't choose... Oh, it just automatically creates the mushrooms. So six water... creates three of those, three of those, three of those, three of those, and six of those. So there's one of each of these, and then two of those. That makes sense. All right, cool. Making sense, chat. It's all making sense. Really groovy game. I'm digging it. How much wood do we have? we got five wood. We're about to dig up more, though. Or not. Not that much more. So dig, we'll dig along here because that's soil and wood. We'll just dig all of this out because that's lots of stuff that we need. We need stone and wood and soil. So that's all good there, we'll just dig out this area. We need iron ore as well at some point, so fuck it, dig that too. Yeah, because we've only got four iron ore. Okay, so we're going to need to make five um, refine into that. Let's do one lot, five wood. Does that mean it'll do it automatically? I'm assuming it is doing that automatically now. If I click on it again, it should have that being refined. Yeah, good. Okay, and what was the other stuff that the hospital needed? Oh, yeah, cloth. Damn it, so we need to build a tailor as well. And we need 10 wood for that. Cool. Okay. Fra is now a fast runner. Is the chicken in the chicken farm yet? Yeah, there he is. Has he laid any eggs? More wild animals now populate our area. Oh, cool. So it even tells you in the um, tooltip here, or whatever, that there's not enough storage space tells you what there isn't enough storage space for. Okay, that's cool. We've got a, go a goat. The goat has a pair of pointed horns that can inflict nasty wounds and a... What does that say? Thex? Ibex. The Ibex can knock down and seriously injure opponents with his powerful antlers. All right, guys, the time has come for me to run to the loo. So before we dive into this combat, I'm going to go to the toilet, get myself another drink, and I'll be right back in just a moment. Use this time to go to the loo yourselves, do anything you've got to do, and I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you so much for your patience.
All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. I'm just going to see if I can up the sound. It's on max, okay? Because it's pretty quiet. I can't hear any music. So I'm going to put that to 25% now. Because that seems about the right level. And we're going to fight the animals. The tank is probably going to die instantaneously because I haven't been able to heal him. We're going to see what happens. And then we might load from the last save because we didn't do very well in that other battle. You're going to attack this fucker. 37 damage. He's got 163 health. You're going to fireball him. You are going to poison the other one. So that it loses health over time. And then shoot this one. Oh, you don't have any action points. Oh, that uses four action points. Okay, so you can't do anything else. That's fine. You've got three action points left. You could move up and hit it. But it's going to need a lot more to finish it off. Where's the priest? I don't want to... This problem has a, this has a, there we go. Uh, we definitely want to heal this guy. He's about to get fucked up by the goats. And then we want to shoot this one. It's got 79 hit points left. So there's no point moving up and mailing it because you won't kill it. I think we all just flee from this goat. <laughs> Because I don't want you being tied up in melee. So what's the ghost movement? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can move to here and I'll be safe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can move to here and I'll be safe. This guy, where is he? Him. Move one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't move anywhere. I have to move up here to be safe from him. All right, and turn. Yeah, they are just. Nope, they fucked up the tank. Down He's down. down. The weak will have to shape up. Okay, I think we're gonna load from before that first battle. Oh, we can't. We have to quit to menu. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to load from when that last battle was, because I didn't do very well in that last battle. Day three, I think it was, wasn't it? No, day four. Let's load day four. I think it was the most... The, the latest world save. we used to know is gone. No. Our future finally lies with you, Lord Commander. Okay. It was... um. It's not the most recent one. So the, the most recent one is obviously an autosave, but I don't think it tells you which one the autosave is. So day three, I think it was. The world we used to know is gone. Yeah. Our future finally lies with you, Lord Commander. Okay, so this is where I was at when the, that wolf and the snake, which came from here, fucked me up. So what we're going to do... Yeah, okay. It's changes. That's good. So you can't just um, save scum and change the tiles that you're digging at. Okay, so they're down here now. What have we got? During excavation work, we came across the first creatures that live here in the mountain. Fortunately, the only wild animals, however, they also try to survive and will probably help themselves to our supplies. With all animal love, this must be stopped. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a wolf. Individual wolves are not much of a uh, threat, but in a pack they can be dangerous. And a rat. A rat of enormous size with powerful ch chewing tools. Rats are not particularly tough, but their bites have leave gaping wounds. Good. We've got two, in theory, two easy critters to fight.
let's see what we've got first. The wolf has 200 health. The rat has 150, so we're going to focus fire on the rat. So if he moves to here, the wolf won't get an attack of opportunity, right? Because it's still near the wolf. Yeah, good. Then attack the rat. Then block the next incoming attacks. That's your turn done. You can move to here. Now, first thing you're going to do is do that on the rat. Oh, damn it, he moved. Oh, that's so infuriating. He moved backwards to get a line of sight, which means I was going to move him here so he could then attack the rat using that to kill the rat. But because he moved backwards, he now doesn't have the movement range to get there. So he, this guy's going to have to come in and do it. Hopefully this will kill the rat. Not quite. Yeah, we needed that last attack. We needed this guy to come in and do the attack like I wanted him to. That's so frustrating. Because then the rat would be dead and wouldn't get an attack off. Damn, that's so annoying. Okay, he howled. That should be his turn, right? Nope, he bit as well. That sucks. That's fine. Tank even though the character understood. Kill the rat. That's fine. Uh, heal this guy. Because he took a couple of damage. That's everyone's turns, right? This guy can... Yeah, spend free energy to parry. dead wolf now. Really? It's got three hit points left. Healer, smack it with your staff. Twat. <laughs> Perfect, that's much better. We got the same resources and no one's almost dead now, so now I'm going to save it because that went a lot better than the last one. We had much easier enemies. Just two. Had much easier enemies, but um, yeah. Okay, so we're digging, we're digging, we're digging this stuff away. What did I need to build? What did I want to build? I can't remember what I... Oh yeah, the first thing I want to build is somewhere for them to eat. Dining room. Build a dining room. Then I wanted that mushroom farm. Build a mushroom farm. Oh, we lost the chicken. I forgot about the chicken that we had. We don't have the chicken farm anymore. It's, it's gone. That's annoying. So once these two are built, I'm then going to build... Ah, Ryle Nottill has reached level... Can I change his name? I can change his name. We're going to change to Tank and Spank. Tank and Spank, so you can change their names. This is Fire Mage, gnome, a gnome Fire Mage. So we're going to call him Lighter. And the Priest is the healer, right? Uh, soft Hands, why not? 
Okay, we'll go to this guy and we'll level him up. He's got two skills. I forgot to level him up twice. Uh, we wanted the hamstring. It's always good to gain new knowledge we can bring to bear on the battlefield. So hamstring means he can escape when he needs to. I guess we want another... No, because he's going to be using energy to block and parry and hamstring. So we're just going to increase his basic melee damage. Oh, it's max level now. Okay, never mind. We're going to have to change that and do something else next level. Cool. Okay, carry on, boys. Keep digging, men! We need the song from Pocahontas. However it goes, I can't remember. Dig and dig and dig and dig. Erdy, hi, nonny, nonny, hi, nonny, nonny. Oh, how I love it! What's he doing? Ah, uh, these are. Ah, uh, that's where the supplies are being kept at the moment. I see. Interesting. Okay, so that's not built yet. The mushroom farm is built. That's good. We're going to dig up this and this to get it out of the way. And then we're going to put the two crafting components here and build storage down here I think. Storage, material storage can go there down by the beds because it doesn't smell or make noise. Hooray! We found a chicken! chicken farm as well. We need five woods. Wood. Soft hands, now a fast runner. Okay, we've got the woods. Let's build a chicken farm. Bad smell to adjacent rooms, let's build it up here. And we're going to dig this up. And build that. And we're going to go with a carpenter. I'm missing five wood again. the closest woods, dig that. And there's wood there, dig that because we're going to need it. Them sleeping. Everyone's sleeping but the norm. Why is his morale at minus one? Day four. Where, where's his morale? Morale is there. He's angry. Why is he angry? Okay, the reinforcements arrived. Let's choose. So we have a witch, a hunter, or a bunch of stuff. Gold ore, ice, and magma. The hunter is fast runner and a skilled crafter, but cannot dig. She can't dig either the witch. She's a gifted cook and good at farming. The witch is a master of hexes. Her skills can significantly reduce the strength of the opponent. Or well, the huntress is a master of the art of the bow and can inflict great damage from a safe distance. I say we go for huntress. Let's welcome this new member. Give the new ones a chance to prove themselves. Um, happy to have survived the trip. That's fucking funny. K. 
Okay, now we're gonna give her, yeah, poison shot seems like the best. It's always good to gain new knowledge we can bring to bear on so, the battlefield. Sh yep, she's fine. What are we gonna call her? Um, we're just gonna call her a sniper. Simple. Simples. She can come and help with the digging. Oh no, she can't dig. She can come and help with the building, in that case. Not enough storage space, understood. I've already got that address. They're gonna build this now. Yeah, I know, I understand that. Right, that's the extra storage space, so the, this should have gone up. Yeah, it's gone up to 50, good. Okay, we're just gonna build the chicken farm, and then once the chicken farm's done, we need more wood first before we can do anything else. Okay, there's a the chicken farm done. Soft hands is now faster digging, very nice. There's one more wood. How much wood do we need? We need a 10, didn't we? We've only got five. There's more wood there. Let's dig that out. And wood there. We just need all the wood. Uh oh, I hear a rat. I think this is going to expose rats. No, it didn't. Okay. Right, we can build a carpenter now. Build it there. And we're also going to need a tailor. We need another five wood. Oh, they're going to build that. They're going to dig that up. That'll give me the five wood I need to build a tailor. Ah, oh, here we go. More creatures, more wild animals now populate our area. We got an Ebex and a Scorpion. Scorpions are easy to crush, but they fight back with a poison that causes weakness. We're all full health. Let's do the fight now. Get them out of the way as quickly as possible so they don't cause any problems around camp. Okay, good. That's around it. That's a really good position to take up. Check how much health it has. Okay, it's only got 100 hit points, so we're probably going to kill that first. Yeah, we're going to kill that first. So, fireball. 42, yeah, fireball it. With a bit of persistence and effort, what seemed like a hopeless mission can turn to success. It's got 23 hit points left. I reckon if this guy runs up to it, he'll be able to kill it with a staff shot. 22. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so frustrating. Okay, kill it with that. Move up to here. You had your turn, you can't do anything else. I don't want you going up to it, so you can just tank it. You just block. You can poison shoot it. That's everyone's turn. Oh, I forgot he can move to there and then... Because he's still in range. That's that's annoying because the scor I wanted to move there, but the scorpion was blocking my movement onto that tile. So I can't move onto the top of the, that enemy's hex, even though it's a dead body. But the AI can. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional, but that was annoying. He just took a massive hit because of that. It was only 50, so it should be okay. But now he can't act because this turns... Fifty hit points left. I reckon we can kill it if we run up and melee it. Twenty-three. Nah, that's really annoying. 
It's going to get another attack off. Oh well, everyone get in there and beat it up. See, if the priest hadn't been stunned, we would have killed it this turn, and it wouldn't have got another attack off. That's uh, quite an important... Oh, it died on its turn anyway because of the poison. Thank goodness. Cool. Good. So we didn't take too much damage. Now is a good time to save it. We've got a couple of points to spend. Lighter. Fireball, definitely. An experienced, skilled hero is worth ten rookies on the battlefield. You don't say. And the healer can do this level again. So 63. Oh no, it was only level 2 because I've... um Because I reloaded, didn't I? Good. Carry on. This game was clearly made by the same developers who made this other game. I can't remember what it's called now. It was like Dragon's Realm or something. It was a game where you had to go and slay a dragon. And you had... Very similar characters, like a huntress, a witch. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I really enjoyed it. It was like a small indie game where you had like, you controlled a settlement and a band of heroes and had to like level up the heroes as you went out on excursions and patrolled the area. And you had to fight all these fantasy creatures like Ents and Griffins and Zombies and Undead and all kinds of stuff. It was a really cool little indie game. But it's obviously been made by the same developers because I recognize the voice and I recognize some of the pictures, like the Huntress, for example, is the same. I might go on the Discord between episodes and see if I can find out what the old game was called because that was so good. But I'm, I'm really happy with this game already. This is a really cool game. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, building now that I've got wood. The carpenter can refine one of those. So that's one lot of wood gone. Does that use the wood automatically? No, it doesn't. Okay. And we need to build a tailoring place. Okay. But yeah, this is a really groovy game. I'm totally digging it. It's right up my street. It's got base building elements in it. It's got tactical turn-based combat. It's a fantasy setting. I'm really digging it. Oh, we need another bedroom. Don't we for her? We need to dig up more wood. Um, down here is we need more soil as well. So soil there, and then wood, 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 wood. That's twenty wood. We got zero out of twenty-five. So go for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's 25. That's right, you dig in that hole. Another bedroom, we'll assign that to her. Have we made the planks yet? No, because we don't have any of that. We, I must have used the wood to build the bedroom. It's fine, he's about to dig up some more wood. Set your priorities, yep, no worries. So now he's got five wood, he's coming over here to build, to put the, yeah, to make the planks. Okay. One of your residents had to sleep on the cold floor. No, they shouldn't have. Why? Did she sleep on the cold floor? Why'd she do that? Morale. 
angry because she had to, yeah, minus one sleeping on the floor. Why'd she do that? She's got a bed right here. You nonce. Priorities. Yeah, get rid of that. That's fine. Refinement. Simple materials can be used to make simple objects. If we want better quality, then we need to refine the starting materials. Check the possible refinements in the refinement menu and obtain improved materials that can be used to make better equipment. Yep, perfect. So tailoring we can refine. Yeah, like I said, that makes cloth. So we're going to make six cloth. Actually... Five of those makes five of those. So if we do three, it'll be 15. Four will be 20. Five will be 25. Cool. 25 is the max we can do for the moment. Chicken, we found a chicken. Nice, we found another one. So now we'll have two chickens. Chicken farm. Oh, we've got chicken sissy. We've got Henriette and sissy. I don't want him to be a sissy. I want him to get the other one pregnant and we want baby chickens. Improved on refinement. So how much wood do we have? 20 now. Okay, so now we should be able to build a hospital, I think. Yeah, we've got cloth and we've got wooden planks. Where do we want the hospital? Probably near the beds. Because it doesn't smell or make noise. We'll have it here next to the dining room. That way people can go and heal. Um, farming... We've got a cornfield. What does a wheat field do? Thanks to the light giving obelisk, wheat can be grown underground. Wheat takes a while to grow and needs to be processed in a mill or a brewery. A byproduct is also hay, which is used for animal feed. We probably want to build that next. Break bakery does flour. Okay, so we need a like I said a mill windmill. No grill. We have raw meat. We have no grill to process it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just store that up until we've got max, and then build a grill. Don't want to build a grill yet. Uh, what was I looking at? The windmill. In the windmill, wheat can be processed into flour. Okay, what do we want next? Tailoring and tannery, carpenter, blacksmith, ground. Wooden planks, no. Stone pavement. Paving with cobblestones allows a road to be heavily used all year long. Increased movement speed, increased speed for crafting and refinement tasks. Large stone tiles. Okay, and marble. Oh, cool. Okay, so where do we get... Oh, that's really cool. So you marble the, the bedrooms. All right. I think a potion lab would be really useful. You need rabbit dung to make potions. Where do I do that? Where do I find that? Potion lab. Small health potion. 50 health, one water, and three of those mushrooms. Health potion, and a large health potion. I think being able to create health potions would be quite useful. We want to save up on these mushrooms, basically. I'm going to save up on these mushrooms. The poisonous red mushrooms. 
We only made three of them a turn, unfortunately. I wonder if we can change that. Is there any way of changing the number that you get? No. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Let's just build. Oh, the hospital's built. Not reserves to anyone. Let's assign it to him for the moment. Let's get his health back up to full since he's the tank. Is he going to go in there? Is he in there already? Someone's in there. Oh no, it's just a load of bedding. It looked like a person. Oh look, he's got a little rabbit teddy bear. Groovy. Why are you training? Stop training. Go and get your health back, you mong. Okay, so apparently they can only go here when they are sleeping. Oh, he's leveled up, so he can get another level. Can get something else useful. Hamstring, what does this do? Two turns, 15 damage. Oh, provide a low blow against the opponent's hamstrings, crippling them for two turns. It doesn't say it also does damage, but this says plus 15% damage. So obviously it does damage as well, so that's useful to know. It does damage. We're going to go for the sever artery. Because every time he attacks with this, he gains two adrenaline points. So he'll then be able to attack with sever artery at the next Each turn. Each new ability we learn opens up new options to explore. Indeed it does. Demolish building, disable building, locate building, assigned. So can you assign multiple people? Because he needs to heal as well, right? Yeah, the healer needs to heal as well. No. Get the tank assigned first. Obviously, they only go there when they sleep. And then he must get health back from sleeping in the hospital. I assume that's how that works. Let's fucking save it because we haven't had combat in a while. And I've got the feeling that we're about to find something. Uh, okay, we need to be improving stuff. We need to be... What do we need? Three soils. So we need more soil. We need more coal. Dig and dig and dig. Iron ore. We've got pl not plenty, but... Okay, so coal, soil, soil, and soil, and more soil. And that will probably lead to combat. This guy's got 85 sleep, so he's about to go to bed. So he'll get his health back in a moment. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh god, it's a bear and a spider. Brown bear. A rampaging brown bear is a deadly foe. This powerful... It's powerful. Poor strokes can crush humans in no time. Oh dear. And a spider... A voracious giant spider that fights back with bites and venom. Spider's got 150 health. Brown bear has 300 health, double the health, and 15 armor. So we're going to have to kill the spider first. Let's do it. Yeah, we're killing the spider first. Good. Holy missile it. Fireball it. You move to there and attack it. Spider's got 24 hit points left, so if you come up to it and attack it here, you should kill it. Ugh, 23, that's so annoying. You come up to it and attack it as well. Right, that's dead. But right, in order for the bear to not be able to come near me, I need to move here. So 
So now the bear can circle around like this, but if it moves away, I'll get an attack of opportunity against it. So let's see what you can shield. Let's block its next coming attack. You can poison the bear. That's everyone. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it did attack this guy and dodged it. That's good. So he dodged most of the damage. So, fireball. Holy blast. Holy missile. Shoot arrow. Attack. got 61 hit points left. If we all close in on it, you can do a hamstring shot because that will also... Wait, where's your adrenaline? Not enough action points left. Oh. Yeah, he has enough adrenaline but not enough action points. Okay. So hamstring the bear. Damage 32. Yeah. So it does do damage this hamstring. That's good. Everyone should be able to close in and just beat it up now to stop it getting one more attack off. Nice, we got meat and fur and experience. Perfect. Let's save it. Saved. Okay, cool. Day six. Day six. Uh, what are we doing? People are just being idle, which I don't like. So we need to get them to... How much cloth do we have? 20 out of 50. And then the fibers. Where are our fibers? Where's the fucking fiber? Gone. There it is. Fiber 20 out of 50. We need to go to. We need to start building. We need to build a furnace. We need 10 coal, we're missing three. So let's dig up some coal. There's coal here and coal there. Iron ore, we're gonna to need to dig up the iron ore. Uh, there's more coal there. More coal there. Iron ore. Stone. Yeah, that'll do. That'll keep him busy for a while. Did this guy get his health back? He's sleeping. He's sleeping in his bed again. How do you get that friggin' health back? I've assigned him to the hospital, but he's not going there. His morale's minus two for some reason as well. Why is his morale so low? <laughs> he's just angry. He's just an angry tank all the time. He's just friggin' angry for no reason. And that slows him down. I have no idea why this has got... Unassign him. Assign that guy. No egg station. You have raw eggs, but no egg station to process them. Understood. Where are the raw eggs? I don't see no raw... Oh, there. Raw eggs. We got nine. Okay. You don't have to fry eggs before consuming them. You can just eat those motherfuckers. You can just pour them into a glass, whisk them up, and drink them. These guys are spoiled. Upgrade to Queen's bedroom. Comfortable for demanding residents. Sleeping here improves morale by two. So we want to increase. We want to do that. We want to improve their morale by upgrading this. We need five planks per one. So we're gonna do that. We've got a bunch of wood. Don't we? Well, we just spent it. Yeah, we've got 20. We're going to turn that into refine. One, two, three, four. That should be 20. That should be four lots of five. We can do all of those. So once they're refined, we just need more wood. Wood there. Yeah, build, dig, wood. Wood, wood, wood. That'll get all our wood back once we've refine all the wood and then upgrade these. So I don't know how to get this working. I don't know how to get the hospital working. They don't seem to be going there. This guy's missing 21 health and he's not going to the hospital. 
even though I've assigned him there, see? I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to check on the Discord what's going on, how to get them to do that. Um, I think I'm going to leave the game there for now, guys. I've been streaming it for a good 2 hours and 20 minutes. Really enjoying it. It's really cool. It's definitely a kind of game that I love. It's right up my street. And like I said, it reminds me of the old game that I played, which was called Dragon something or other. I can't remember. It's driving me crazy that I can't remember it. But I really enjoyed it. It was a few years ago, about five years ago, that it came out on Steam. And I haven't seen it around on Steam since. I completed it. Played it through to completion because I enjoyed it so much. It was a really nice, challenging little um, strategy, turn-based, team, mercenary management game where you had to level up heroes and patrol and stuff. If anyone can remember what that game was called, leave a comment in the section down below. I greatly appreciate it. I will... Go and hang around on the Discord in between episodes and see if I can find it out myself. And also find out how you're supposed to assign people to the hospital. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for hanging out and watching. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing. Hopefully I will see you in the next stream. I'm not sure when it will be. I'm pretty tired now because I've been streaming all day, so I'll leave it for now for today. Next stream will probably be the Call of Cthulhu stream on Tuesday evening. So hopefully see you all there for that. If not, I'll see you in some other content I produce. I try and make content at least once a week now. So, Sal, wait till next time.